a cordial greeting. Today is Saturday, October 5, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 8 a.m. local time in the state of Florida, where you should be very attentive to the evolution and progress of INS-92, which now appears to strengthen quite rapidly as it approaches Florida and could arrive between Wednesday and Thursday as a hurricane, between Category 1 and Category 3. I decided to record this video because this poses a greater risk to the state and represents a significant change from what we discussed last night. This is mainly because we are seeing that the low-pressure system has consistently been generating strong thunderstorms just east of Tamaulipas, which has increased the chances of cyclonic development. In fact, at 8 a.m., the National Hurricane Center raised the development probability to 50% for the next 48 hours and up to 90% for the next 5 days. So, it is very likely that Tropical Storm and Hurricane Milton will form here. Yesterday, we talked about the main risk being rain. However, now we also have concerns about the wind, as we cannot rule out the possibility of it arriving as a major hurricane according to some of the latest projections from weather models. Look at the latest projections from the specialized track models. There is good consensus that it will maintain an eastward track over the next two to three days and eventually, between Tuesday and Thursday, move northeast, potentially reaching sun region in central or southern Florida. The intensity models now consistently show the possibility of it arriving as a Category 2 hurricane. These are much more aggressive projections than what I saw yesterday, and a clear example of the increasing risk is the projection from the American model. You can see that it already has a tropical storm developing by Sunday afternoon or evening, and the model suggests that conditions will be favorable for rapid strengthening. In its latest run, it shows a major hurricane, possibly Category 3, making landfall in Florida on Wednesday night or early Thursday morning. So, this is becoming a very serious situation, and it is important for all Florida residents to stay alert to bulletins and forecasts in this scenario. Look at the tropical storm and hurricane force wind gusts that could be reported in central and northern Florida, shown in orange and red. Tropical storm force winds could range from 40 to 70 miles per hour, but in the counties where the center of circulation passes, gusts over 100 miles per hour could be reported. The GFS model shows a trajectory making landfall just north of the city of Tampa, although other models show a slightly more southern trajectory. This is why it's important for all Florida counties to stay alert to the evolution of this future hurricane. Besides the wind, remember that we also have anticipated rainfall accumulations exceeding 10 to 12 inches, so in addition to the wind, the rain could cause significant problems with a high potential for flooding. Now let's look at the European model's projection. It is quite similar to the GFS model. It shows the future tropical storm Milton strengthening as it approaches Florida, but the difference is that it sees a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane when it reaches Florida on Wednesday afternoon, in this case, with a trajectory entering just south of Tampa. Like the GFS model, it also projects a lot of rain, between 6 to 12 inches, in much of the state of Florida, which could cause flooding problems. Other models, like the German model, also show a Category 1 hurricane making landfall a bit further south, in this case over Cape Coral. So, as you can see, the exact point of landfall in Florida is still uncertain, but the models agree that it will arrive as a hurricane between Wednesday and Thursday. The GFS model ensemble also shows that most of its members now have a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. And something we need to be very attentive to is that the runs being released this morning from specialized intensity models are now showing a risk that it could even arrive as a major hurricane. So, it is important that if you live in Florida or know people who live in this area, you stay very alert to the development of this disturbance. Please share the video with acquaintances to spread the word. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue with this special coverage to keep you informed of the latest updates, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I'll be recording. Also, click the bell so you receive notifications when I upload new videos. Well, with that, I say goodbye. Until the next video, I hope everyone has an excellent day.